Hello, Namaste. In this lecture series of industrial engineering, today we will understand sampling plants. There is a two type of sampling plants. Uh, one is single sampling, another is double sampling plant. So first we will understand what is single sampling plant. So in single sampling plant, one sample is drawn from a lot lot size is fixed and a fixed sample size is drawn from a lot and each sample is inspected and we will judge after inspection it is a defective item or it is an acceptable item after inspecting each sample we will conclude that our lot should be rejected or should be accepted so there is a one acceptance and rejection number is defined in a sampling plan if our defect is more than rejection number then lot is rejected and if our defective items are less than or equal to acceptance number then whole lot is accepted these things we will understand by a diagram so here single sampling procedure is uh, described first we will select a fixed lot size it is denoted as capital n and from that lot size of capital n we will draw a sample of small n it is also fixed sample size small n is also fixed this small n number of samples is inspected mind well that each items of sample is inspected and from that inspection we will find defects so how many numbers of defective items from this sample size is come into existence after inspection and if defect number is less than or equal to acceptance number a is acceptance number then we will accept lot and if our defect is greater than the acceptance number then we will reject lot so rejected lot cannot we cannot supply to customer and this lot if we supply it to customer then it return it may return the lot so and if uh, our lot is rejected there is another possibility we can go for 100% inspection means we have to for inspect whole lot size means if our lot size is of 1000 capital n is 1000 then we need to inspect 1000 items otherwise generally by single sampling plan we just inspect sample size suppose our lot size is 1000 and sample size is of 100 then we need to inspect only 100 item and from that 100 item we find we find defect d and based on that defect we come into conclusion that we need to accept the lot or we need to reject the lot so this is a very useful sampling technique instead of inspecting whole lot size we need to just inspect sample and it is very quick and easy process for supplier and consumer then we will go for a double sampling plan so it name suggests that we need to take double sample in case if we could not come into conclusion that we have to accept or reject the lot so first uh, 
Here procedure is similar to single sampling plan. We need to take sample size of small n from lot size of capital N. Then we need to inspect this sample size. Here two level of inspection is uh, taken into consideration and two values are specified for number of defective items. If our defective item for first time inspection is less than or equal to rejection number C1 then lot is accepted and our defective items D1 is greater than C2 means rejection number C2 is a rejection number if our defective item is greater than C2 then lot is rejected and sampling is terminated but defective item D1 is between C1 to C1 and C2 it means our defective item D1 is greater than C1 but less than C2 means defective number of item is between C1 and C2 then we need to inspect further and we need to take sample number 2 that is N2 and from that sample number we need to find defect D2 okay then our defect D1 and D2 is compared to third rejection number that is C3 is less than then we can accept the load it means our defective items does not exceed the value of C3 and we can accept the load otherwise it is rejected these things we can understand from a diagram this is a double sampling plan lot of n is selected and from that lot we will draw a one sample of n1 and we will inspect this n1 samples each item of sample n1 is inspected and defect d1 is found from that sample if our defect is less than or equal to acceptance number that is a1 then lot is accepted if our defective item D1 that we have found from lot uh, sample size of N1 is greater than rejection number then lot is rejected but defective item is greater than acceptance number and less than rejection number means defective item is in between acceptance number and rejection number then we need to draw second sample of n2 size and we have to inspect each item in n2 sample and we will find defect d2 from n2 sample then if our defect d1 and d2 means defect at first sample and defect at second sample and summation of defect d1 and d2 is less than or equal to a2 then we can accept the lot if D1 and D2 is greater than or equal to rejection number then reject the lot. So after taking second sample we come into conclusion that we can accept or reject the lot. This thing we will understand from an example. Here we have taken an example. Here lot size is 2400. First sample size is 150 acceptance number at after taking first sample is 5 rejection number after taking first sample is 8 second load size is 150 also acceptance number at second time is 9 and rejection number is 10 so here all the data for double sampling is given because there is a two sample n1 and n2 is given and also we have seen that there is a two acceptance and two rejection number so 
from this data we can draw double sampling plan so here we take lot size of 2400 that is given in example from that lot size we randomly draw a, uh, 150 samples and from each items of one uh, sample size of 150 is inspected and we can find defect D1 if defect D1 number number of defects is less than 5 5 is acceptance number A1 if our defect number is less than 5 then we can accept the lot if defect is greater than 8 means rejection number R1 8 is rejection number R1 then we can reject the lot but if defect D1 is in between 5 and 8 defect D1 is greater than 5 but less than 8 means in between 5 and 8 then we can we need to take second sample of N2 that is 150 also so take sample of 150 and inspect each product in 150 and find defect D2 from that second sample now defect D1 plus D2 is less than N9 means it is 9 is acceptance number 2 acceptance number at second sample if our defect defective item after taking first and second sample is less than 9 then we can accept the lot and if our defective item after taking first and second sample is greater than or equal to 10 then we will reject the lot so we can see that after taking second sample there is a no other possibility then accepting or rejecting load we can definitely come into conclusion that we need to accept or reject the load because there is a no value between 9 and 10 is possible okay so in that way we can draw a double sampling plan and we can conclude that our lot size is need to be accepted or rejected so double sampling plan is very much useful Thank you very much. If you have any doubt, you can ask in comment section. Have a nice day.